304 slugging percentage on base percentage as well pretty much every category out but it is a nice luxury isn't it yeah it's definitely a nice luxury to to be able to look down the bench and there's another nasty slider by Feeney it's a great luxury to have that's always a nice luxury as well yeah that's and is this ball hit hard enough it's mashed by right into right field and it is way out of here as it disappears into the trees so my question was answered quickly <laughs> yeah he got enough of that fourth home run of the year for Jake Wright I'm going to tell you, I've, I watched this Coastal Carolina team take BP, and it was one of the most impressive BPs that I've seen in a very long time. They have power. They could hit gap to gap. Um, this is a very good offense, as you see right here. It's just a nice swing, stays back on it, gets the barrel through, a little bat flip at the end, puts a chance up, one nothing. So it's quickly nothing and two on the Shantz right fielder. And this ball's hit pretty well. Left center field gap. McDonough with a long run. He's not going to get there as it caroms off the wall. Back-to-back -back extra base hits for Coastal. The homer from Reitman ever. He hits this one hard but snared by Evan Edwards at first base. Oh, and he hit him. So NC State will tie the game as Tresh is plunked. Butler comes home. Three walks and a hit batter in the frame. Through all the signs. Now Parker's got it. Well, jam shot. Slow roller. And they will make the play as Corey Wood. A Millbrook High School product. First pitch off the end of the bat. This is going to be a tough play. Off of the glove of Butler. And it'll be a single for the local kid, Scott McKee. Line drive from Vasquez, and Wolfpack fans have been seeing a lot of that from him recently. Nice cutoff by Rivers to hold him to a single. Difficult shadows. When you're in the batter's box, how yep. difficult is that for it, you? It, it's very difficult. It's going to fall. Long run for Tresh. And is that a fair ball? It is. it is. It'll be a ground rule double. As you can see, uh, that view from that camera is the same view we have yeah. here. So <laughs> it, it's really tough to see down the line. Straight away center field should be deep enough. McDonough will make the catch. And yet no chance. Coastal Carolina retakes the lead on the sack fly from Keaton Rivers. Great job. Something off speed right here. Jam job. Vasquez had to move a long way. Nice play. Moving to his left, he makes the play and saves a run. But Ball Coastal, played. you can't just disregard an 87-mile-an-hour fastball like it's slow. Bailey tees off. This is deep right fields. It'll tie the ball game. The homers against the Shunts for the second time this season. Yeah, that's just a... Um, a curveball that kind of stays up in the zone a little bit. Bailey does a great job getting barreled to it. And that's what he's so good at. He, he's so good at He doesn't care if it's two strikes on him, one strike. It doesn't matter. He's confident in what he does, and he's able to see pitches very well. And like I said, right here, it's just a, a curveball that probably supposed to be down to Zert. And it gets down to the knees a little bit, but he does a great job just All getting right, barrel on it. It's home run number seven on the year for the record. Consecutive games played. Ground ball through the right side, and it will get into right field. Edwards is going to turn and look and reach third base. Big 2-2 pitch here from Abney to Debo. And this is in the shallow right. Coming in is Rivers. And NC State will take the lead as Edwards comes. Oh, oh man, cheek. Seamer. He swung at ball four. Ground ball up the middle. McKeon. Step on the second base bag. Pretty special time. That ball is driven. Into right field. Butler is looking up. He watches it disappear. Beerman. Just like that, ties it up. His seventh long fly of the season. 
And I thought that was one that had a little bit too much topspin on it, but you see how big of a kid he is. Big, strong kid. He's just able to get out of this ballpark. He kind of top spins it, but once again, barely gets over the wall over there in right field. Yeah, I think you described it well. It did have some top spin on so, you know, this is going to be another guy that they turn to. Well, he beats the shift with a ground ball up the middle. Absolutely smoked from Piercy. It fell, it <laughs> it fell, fell off the it table. It fell quickly, too. Oh, off of his boot. Can he beat him to the bag? Good stretch from Edwards. What a play. Wow, great play right there. Kick, save, and a beauty right before the NHL playoffs. There's Andrew. a lot of good teams around here. Abney trying to get out of trouble. He will. he will. Blows it by McDonough. Right one from Zach Bierman. Patrick Bailey hit one for the Wolfpack. This ball struck pretty well to right fields. Butler's running out of room. It's gone. Off the bat, that didn't look too scary from Keaton Rivers. He'll take it. No, I mean, that's a – maybe the Doak stream is – Shifted its way over to uh, right field, and that ball just got up in the air and, and kept on drifting. Coastal Carolina retakes the lead. We'll get another look at it. Let's see Rivers' reaction. Yeah, he just misses a pitch. It's supposed to be on the inside part of the plate, and it looked like he thought he got it the whole way. Sure, there's a lot more parts to this team than just that. Correct. As this will get right past Minshik and Wilson and scoot through to left fields. A two-out knock. Beeline rears back, and he struck him out. Want a chance to, to put a couple balls in play. He smokes this one fair like down that. the third baseline, just like that. Piercy slipped, and Tresh will easily have second. He'll have to stop right there. So as a player, that's what you want, right? As a coach... Got to make a better 2-2 pitch right here. Base hit through the right side of the infield. Tresh will hold up at third base. And so Debo does what you're asking him to work for me. Ground ball. Should be two. And the shots will turn it. So Vasquez does not get the RBI, but he does tie the game up. John just yeah. rehab for a couple weeks and... Called strike three. Wright thought he was going to make his way to first. Down the inning. Yeah, definitely got this crowd back into this game. Base hit up the middle. Rivers comes through. An 0-2 pitch. Caught too much of the plate. Rivers having a night. It's just an off-speed pitch. It just gives him the confidence to know that he's able, he's capable of doing it. Bailey with a frozen rope to center field. Did he hang on? He's saying he did not. No. It'll be a hit as Shavers trapped it, they said. I'm shocked. Uh, favorite spot is. You're going ahead. Oh, he got a pitch to hit there. Deep fly ball, left center field. Evan Edwards, home run number 10. Little two out magic for the Wolfpack. And NC State back in the lead. And that's where he is such a good hitter, where he's grown so much. It's a fastball. Yes, you want to get a fastball, that, but you are still looking at your specific pitch, something you could drive. Fastball over the middle part of the plate. And that kid's got some power right there. That ball is driven out of this ballpark to get the Wolfpack. Michigan State and Kent State and, and everyone else they had played to that point. I mean, that's not an easy game. Anytime you go to Springsbrooks, as Debo once again finds a little space on that right side of the infield. He's got two hits tonight. Anasak's hometown of Raleigh is having a good game. He'll continue to have a good game. Softly it drops in a right field in front of Cooper. Second hit for I Wood. I saw Ford. something off speed. You know, I, I was never going to get beat by a fastball. McDonough sprays this down the right field line and into the corner. Oh, and takes it. First base uh, jumped up and got him right there. Yeah, he tripped on the first base monster. 
And he strikes out swinging. So Coastal, I should say the eighth pitcher overall, seventh reliever. Chavers, high fly ball, right field. He flips the bat. He knows it is out of here. I mean, no doubt. That, is, that ball is absolutely crushed. It's a fastball up in the zone that Chaver just gets a barrel right above it. And, you know, we said going into this inning, they are not out of this game, and that's why insurance runs are huge. NC State couldn't capitalize on it, but just a missed spot, fastball on the inside part of the plate, bat flip. See you later. I mean, it was up and in. Defense, make them make a play. He struck him out. Well, it doesn't get much better than that for Matt Erdensen. He sees three. He sits all three of them down on strikes, and Coastal Carolina shocks NC State. Not that they did come in here and win, but the way they went about it. Parker yep. Chavers.